My father uh, took his PhD over here at UCT and I was about four years old when that happened and uh, my mother also became a part-time lecturer over here at UCT. And so there's always the idea that uh, hopefully eventually I'd be able to study at the university and I applied um, obviously when I left matric and I was accepted uh, to do a BSc degree along with the organ as an elective course and that's how it all started. I'm studying supramolecular chemistry and one of our core analytical techniques is X-ray crystallography. I really enjoy the fine work of dealing with crystals. I've always enjoyed crystals from since I was a, a small child. Definitely my supervisor is a huge role model um, because he's got a lovely ability to teach. Everyone has always known that, that he can teach incredibly well. Alexios is probably the best student I've ever had the opportunity to supervise. Uh, as an undergraduate, he already demonstrated his fine academic abilities, winning prizes every year, usually the top prize in third year at honours level and so on. The work that I'm actually doing is basically trying to improve the aqueous solubility of various active pharmaceutical ingredients, in other words, the drugs that we buy at the pharmacy. If this method can actually reduce the cost of medicines, then I think it will definitely help. He's been working on numerous uh, projects and he is able to manage to work on more than one topic at a time. In fact, he is really a multitasker of note because while he's you know, doing his research, he might slip down to the College of Music to go and fulfill some commitment there and then he'll be back here marking tutorials. So another one of my interests is actually horology, which is the art of clock and watch repairs. And ironically, this was actually the first field that I ever wanted to do ever since I was about eight, nine years old. At one point, the music department, uh, well, the clock actually I don't think ever worked for a very long time over there. They've got a very tall, long-faced grandfather clock that was built in the late 18th century. The clock was completely uh, rusted and full of dust. And I offered this if I can actually restore it and repair it for them. And they were quite delighted that the clock would actually be working again. And I think they've really enjoyed it and loved it working ever since. And that was in 2012. My love of music also extended to the carillion, and the carillion is a musical instrument that plays on tower bells. Obviously playing uh, the organ, eventually I managed to transcribe many of those skills to playing the carillion in the bell tower of the city hall. And this started about, I'd say almost a year ago, in fact, um, officially, when um, it was a celebration of the centenary of Armistice Day uh, on the 11th of November at 11 o'clock uh, in 2018. And the Carillion had not been played for nearly 20 years, or 70 to 20 years then, and I decided to see if we could actually get this instrument working and operating again and play it. So I, got, I ordered some music from Belgium, and I managed to try and learn how to actually operate the instrument, play it uh, from reading various texts and also analyzing the way professionals play on YouTube, for example. We had a little performance on the 11th of November at 11 o'clock in 2018 and I suppose that marked technically the revival and the opening again of the Carillion. So I play the organ at the graduation ceremonies and I think it's actually very special to also be part of them. Um, I mean, it's a very important time in many people's lives. Actually being part of the ceremony and um, basically being part of the way that the ceremony actually takes place and playing for other people is actually, I found it very special and very touching. Initially I was incredibly nervous, and, but afterwards it became very, very enjoyable and I really loved it. It's really a privilege for me to work with, with somebody like Alexios. Now, I've, I've attended many concerts uh, and occasions where he's played. And this blend of music and mathematical thinking and science, well, they are known to go together well. In terms of where I see my future, I definitely would love to pursue academia because I really have a passion for teaching. And um, in terms of trying to incorporate the music and the horology, that's I think will always be something I'm going to have in my back pocket as such.